That's my voice. Look at the camera. Okay, hi you guys. I, I just wanted to make sure my speaker's on. Is it John? Your speaker? The That'd be a microphone. Microphone, is it on? Yes. All right, well, it doesn't hurt to ask because uh, this is a girl like painting money, which is your cook. Can give a shout out to John Little. And uh, we are going to be painting a beautiful yellow rose today in acrylics on absorbent ground. It's going to be a maybe something you hadn't thought about. We're going to introduce you to an artist that many of our Academy members know about named Martin Head, who originally uh, painted this in the late 1800s. And he was from Florida, Martin Head. So anyhow, um, we want to welcome our moderators uh, who are standing by and if where, because this is a live show, you have the opportunity to comment. You must be subscribed to the channel to comment. But if you have a question for us, please put it in capital letters. Now, some of you have been asking us questions. We asked you last week, and I'm saving those for no, no, um, coming event. for an special event. So I've, I've been copying all your questions and saving them uh, for a special event because, uh, and, um, you know, so don't write, you know, if you have just some questions you want me to answer on the show related to the paint, painting or something like that, that's good. We're happy to do that. And um, let's go ahead and get, we got a busy day today. We're going to be drawing for the limited edition prints from Friday's auction. Yes. Is that when we're doing that? It's from the bird hop number two. Bird hop number two. And we're we'll have draw three drawings there, one for each of our birds. One for each of our birds. And then and we'll have last week's drawing for the kitten uh, dinner time. For dinner time, which is, a, you know, we've got the, we've got, so last week, so those of you who entered Monday, last Monday's uh, drawing, we'll be drawing for that. Okay. So lots of exciting things happening today. And uh, let's just get started because this is going to be a bit. Who's our, why, I'm, I want to just show you what I've got if John will come on down. Come on down. This is the uh, the uh, painting by uh, that we printed out from Martin Head, this yellow rose, right? Yeah, that is cropped from his original. Yeah, it's cropped a little bit, so it fit a 9 by 12, all right? And this has been, uh, some of you know what this is, but uh, in other videos we've talked about, it's absorbent ground that's had a while to dry, like overnight. No, well, not quite. Not quite, but close, <laughs> all right? So this is absorbent ground, and the reason being is um, I went ahead and kind of fooled around in my on my computer programs and came up with what I thought was a really pretty background, maybe not quite the shell, but I'm going to, you know, this is sort of, um, no two backgrounds will be the same, but I kind of like these colors as opposed to just the dark beige. All right. So I'm going to just play around with this a little bit before I put the image on and then how I'm going to do that is I'm going to just lightly miss the uh, canvas while we talk about the just lightly missed it with water. Now here's the trick. If you miss something like this, and you see how shiny the water is, if it's that shiny, you can't work with it. If you can see the shine on the water, it hasn't absorbed into it. It's either on your paper, if you just view it on paper, it's kind of a trick when you're doing this on paper, absorbent ground, which kind of makes the canvas look like paper. What the, This is a board called Protones. It's an actual masonite board. Uh, covered with canvas. It's a kind of they're kind of fancy, nine by twelve by and sold at Jerry's Artorama. And we bought some and they're very nice for that. Do you see how I'm kind of losing the shine about this? So let's talk a little bit about um while well, this is just drawing, let me just show you the prints. Uh we have not had prints to show you uh from the very first auction because it took 13 days to get them from uh, Cinnamon and John's up in um uh, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Well, they had storms. We had storms. storms. It was just been we, storming, we just storming. couldn't get them. They overnighted them two days because then we have to sign them, which we have done, and then sent them back, and they're shipping them out. So if you've ordered one of these prints, um, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> but in the meantime, we thought we'd at least show you what they look like. Yeah. So here, I think they're really nice. Here, look how look how vibrant the colors are. Isn't that just great? What was that word you use? Vibrant. Okay. They're fairly vibrant, aren't they? Beautiful, oh, bright, go gorgeous vibrant. colors. And um, I want to show you this one. This is really kind of cool. And then I, I love the pink one. All right. Now, we had people that won uh, that had, were in a drawing for these prints. Uh, if you remember, um, 
we, the, for the for these particular prints, not the ones we're going to be do, doing tonight, but for these particular prints, we have, and nobody claimed them. Did you know that? Nobody claimed them. Now we 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 always tell people where where they are. Some of you probably remember the show we did it on. We give you ten days to claim a prize if you've done it. Now I, I'm not trying to be unkind about this, but um. This is the last time we're going to give anybody a mulligan on this. So if you want to go back and look at these shows, the following shows from the first bird hop, um, and check and see if your name was one of the was picked as one of the winners of one of these limited edition prints. There were only twenty. We only did twenty. These are our artist proofs here. We only did uh, twenty prints. So um, that's a really nice run. And if you if you think. Um, let, let us know right away, right away. You know, we're going to give you what another what few days, what another couple days to look and see if you're a winner, because nobody claimed them. Um, and uh, we're not posting the winners' names in Facebook, and we don't post them on the tutorial. We really think it's not unfair to ask you to you know watch the videos and and, and see if you're a winner and see if you're a winner. You know, all right. So that's with any of the products. Okay, now. If you remember last, instead of letting that kind of tack up a minute, last Friday, uh, a week ago, let's see, last Friday we had the auction, and um, uh, we drew for the, here's the auction, and the auction closed Friday at 5, and you guys, these are so gorgeous, the, we want to congratulate the guys that won these, they're painted all over the side, they're so beautiful, these little 6 by 6 uh, paintings and they've all been varnished and look how great they look varnished so somebody we had three uh, uh i want to thank everybody that bought these um i want to give uh the owl of all the paintings the cinnamons everybody paid for everything except for we're still looking for some uh, patty h from nevada if you will please just contact us for the grumpy owl uh because we still have not received payment from you for that but anyway here's the um here are the birds, and I, I think they're so pretty. And so the prints we'll be drawing for tonight are for the this set, okay, of, of the prints that will come from this. And they will be done the same way as this. And these are, what are, what size are these? Uh, I believe you did them 8 by 8 But you still can buy the prints for this. You can still contact cinnamon on the on the new ones on the new ones you can still buy prints for these and you can still get the sets there that's still that you can no longer get the old sets but you can still purchase the the prints for this and so if you haven't if you've just been reluctant kind of waiting for you to see it we didn't want to say much about it till we actually had some in our little hands we could show you how nice they were and they framed beautifully what size were these john i've forgotten what you said the paper is a nine by twelve nine by and twelve the print is, itself is an eight by eight and you can then we figured out that there's a neat way you can frame these this is really nice and so again signed and numbered and they will have the seal and they come with certificates so um anyway if somebody's interested in getting prints or adding to their collection, you can still, uh, these are still available for sale at uh, the artsherpa.com. Yes? Yes and yes. All right. So that being said, let's keep on going here. See how now the shine, there's a little bit of shine, but it's mostly gone. And I'm going to take, I'm using the Salvador paints, and I just put out all the, the, the yellows and the gold colors, and I want to just let you see, this is sort of the map of how I want it to do, right? So because Acrylics dry darker, but on absorbent ground, they dry lighter. Tip. Treat it like a watercolor. Treat right? it like a watercolor, right? So I think we'll take some, we'll start with some of the lighter colors and maybe just uh, just a wet brush. And I'm going to just pretty much wet brush here. Let's see, maybe I want some sort of yellow oxide down in this corner. This will be the one time that you see Ginger use a lot of water with her acrylic. Yeah, don't use it very often. No, you don't see that very often. I'm just trying some different yellows to see what I get. There's, that's going to be pretty up in here, this rose. Okay, let's try a little bit of um, that and say a little tiny bit of magenta. Here, let's try that color. Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? That's a little magenta. And um, just kind of blending all these together. Yes? And let's try a little of this light green color. That's pretty. Ooh, that's nice. Put Ooh, a little, that's nice. A little bit of a magenta with it and tone that down. You know, red will tone down a green if you get 
to carry down. You got to kind of go from light to dark on this because of the way this works. Okay. And normally in acrylics, we go from dark to light, but here we're doing, but you see, we're kind of getting that effect. Now, um, Yoshi wrote me today in, from Israel and wrote, and she'd been trying some absorbent ground and had discovered that that's a little magenta here. That her, her problem with it was is that um, it just kept absorbing. And she said, is there a way you can stop it? Yes, you, you dry it and just hit it with some matte varnish and just seal it. So you can have certain areas of your painting, for instance, that um, perhaps, um, uh, you know, you want to um, have, you know, more absorbent ground than others. Let's take a little bit of this light yellow. That's kind of a green color here. Eventually, if you get enough coats of acrylic on it, it will seal it. Yeah, eventually, because the acrylic, yeah, eventually it will seal it. I want a little blue up here. I'm going to try one of these light blues over here using a Stay Wet palette. Let's try a little bit of this blue up in this corner. That's pretty. So, well, I got green because I had yellow on my brush. I got green. Let's try this. Here's a little blue. Maybe a little white. That's pretty. Let's try that. Ooh, that white's nice. You know, unlike um, watercolor, you have white. So you can you can play with this. You could you can do a kind of a nice, you know, what we call a you know blended background. I think I want a little bit of a uh, burnt umber. Well, that, no, that's burnt sienna down here. Let's make this a little darker. Maybe put a little bit of white and yellow oxide with it. I want it that dark, but I want the corners darker. So again, I'm just kind of looking for this effect. I know it's going to look lighter when I'm done. And you can layer it a little bit. Um, to hey, I'd like to thank Carol for the donation that came in through the Super Chat. I would say from the UK area. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, where's thank our you. UK? We got a box of goodies from the UK, you guys. Oh, yeah. Where's the real box? Sh real sh English Before shortbread. Wow. Hey, thanks, Sandy. Perez. We'll have to get that out during one of the breaks here. Yeah, that's fantastic. We just love that. And we have a new staff member. Yeah, we have a new staff member. We can never have uh, enough the staff The stuffy members. staff. Now, look, I'm just sort of kind of squishing that in there, just tapping it in like that. Now, See that is a technical term she's using. Squishing it in there is a technical term. That's don't be, right. Don't, don't be thrown by it. Yeah, don't be thrown by it. And let's see. Let's take a little bit of, um, let's take another little blue here. Now, when you are buying the absorbent ground from Golden, they make one for pastels and one for acrylics. Make sure you get the proper one. I don't know what the difference is. We do have some pastel ground that we'll play with sometime just to see what it does. But... They do make two different ones. The problem with telling anybody about this stuff is that then they, they run out because everybody goes and buys it. And type, type that, that blue and a little bit light blue and a little bit of, here's some light blue here. There's some colors in here. And I want a little bit of magenta in it. That's, ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? Ooh. 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 Uh, now, uh, now, the, the brush you're using, my queen. I'm what just is that using one? a soft white, a wide uh, filbert, number 12 cool. of ruby yep. satin silver. And I'd say it looks like a number 12 filbert. Really I mean, sad and sober. Now, and just like watercolor, if you get something too dark, you can pick it up. But look look how I got this corner. Kind of very similar, isn't it? Okay. So, and I mean, I could still do more, but I, let's see. Let's try a little bit of this color on the sides. If you darken the sides of a painting, you kind of force the eye in toward the middle. The kind of frame. So that's, that's a kind of a, you know interesting trick, too, is you kind of darken the corners and the sides. And, uh, and we know the, the rose is going to be pretty light. Let's try a little darker green around there. Let's see, a little bit of green. Um, you don't need much paint, right? You really don't. You see how I'm just Basically kind of playing with Basically what you're doing this. is you're, you're staining the absorber ground, just like a watercolor. Yeah, it's just like when you drink coffee and you stain it on your shirt. It works the same way. Just all and works. you would know that. Absolutely, I would know that. <laughs> um, so uh, you see... You can see how we're getting that. And here's a little bit more of the burnt umber. And I'll put it over here. Here's the second coat. Now, um, I might put a little um, zinc white with that because I'm not sure that I want it quite that dark. So I'll put a little zinc white. And um, let's try that. Now, I'm going to rinse all the paint off my brush, okay? And then I'm going to, I've just got water on it, and I'm just going to smoosh it into the... Um, I'm just going to smoosh it into this barrier, and if I got too much, I can rinse some off and wipe some off. And let's try a little bit of dark green 
There we go. That's it. The tapping is good. You know, tapping is good. I feel like we kind of uh, got the feeling of this. Now, let's see. Here's some, some nice color. What's this? It's kind of a green. Now, remember, if you don't clean your brush off, uh, I'm rinsing my brush as I go because if you don't clean your brush off, you have to be kind of careful. Here's a little orange. This is pretty. Where can I put this? Yeah, let's take a little white with that. Ooh, that's nice. Um, We're working on a 9 by 12 canvas this evening. So, um, those that are just joining us. Try not to overdo, but you can you can get some nice again. I, I think you can get some very nice effects that would be hard to get otherwise. How's that? A little bit of white here. There we go. I'll just tap that in there like that. All right. Um, now um, I would like something up here, maybe a little yellow oxide. I'm not happy with this corner, so we'll put some yellow oxide on there. There we go. I didn't like that corner. All right, so now John's going to do a drawing while I draw this for, um, uh, how about for last, how about for the Sal a Salvador paint set from last week's uh, uh, show, which was the, wait for it, last week, oh my gosh, I dropped it again. Gosh, I hate that drop. No? I hate that. Let's see. Let's see What'd you drop? Well, I dropped the painting. I want to show the painting from oh. the show so you know what we're talking about for our YouTube show. I got you. All right. So last week, last Monday, we did this paint, this kitty. Okay. Dinner time. And dinner time. And so we're, um, we're the drawing we're going to be doing for the Salvador paint kit. And comes from that drawing. From that comes lesson. from that that tutorial. Okay. So. Um, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take a second and dry that as soon as I do this right up in here. There we go. I want that color up there. I want a little blue too. Okay. All right, we're gonna dry all this while John's doing that. I'm just gonna mop that up. I didn't like it. Okay. Are you all done? Right. I'm done. All right, all all right. right. you're quieted. I, I muted you. I muted the queen. All right, we're going to go to our random drawer. We are drawing from this lesson. Get it somewhere. Make sure we're on the right lesson. Yep, kitty cat lesson. Get the link. Bring it over to our random picker. Paste it in there. And let's see, we don't want no duplicates. Include the replies, and we're filtering, and we're going to go, go first for Salvador, Salvador, Kit. Get the comments. We have 88. Slide down a little bit further, and we're going to draw now for the Salvador Paint Kit. And the winner of the Salvador Paint Kit is Shirley Major. So, Shirley, if you're out there, you have 10 days to use to contact us on acrylic painting with gingercook.com to claim your prize. What I need from you would be your mailing address is what's needed for that. So, Shirley Major, congratulations on the win for that. I'm not sure how much longer the queen's going to be. We'll go back. If you had a chance to hit the thumbs up, please do so now before it gets away from you. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing it. It is free to do it right here, right now. I'd love to have you be a member of our YouTube group. You're back, my queen. I'm back. So I'm going to take this is still a little... Ideally, another 10 minutes drawing on this would have been better. Well, it's going to take forever because it's absorbing ground. Yeah. So um, I'm going to just go ahead and um, do it. I'm not going to draw the grid on here because I'll, I, I won't get it off because it's still wet. But I can I can figure out how I'm going to do it by 
folding the paper in half. And folding like it this, in half. And then folding it in half again. And this gives me an idea of where everything is going. And I'll take a, move that out of the way, and I will take a, a, a like a chalk pencil and just I'll mark this so I can see it, right? So this, you've got to do at least this much when you're, you know, drawing in things, right? Is that, you know, I see, I do a lot of personal art coaching for our Academy members that the red, purple, and blue members all it comes with the personal art coaching. And um, what I've discovered is a lot of people just get in a hurry. They're so excited to paint the picture. They don't want to take the time to do this and they don't get the placement correct. All right. And so if you don't have the placement correct, um, then it really, you, you, then, then you're repainting an awful lot, which you don't need to be. So this is one of the most important steps. You wouldn't just start sewing on garments without measuring, yes? And this is what you're doing here. So just, just get in the habit of, of doing that. Now you can see I can, I've got that. And where, what I'll do here, because this is still pretty wet. And uh, let's see, will this chalk even mark on this? I'd be surprised. Or I, I don't think it will. I think I'm gonna have to use a Posca pen to even draw on here. So uh, this is, so there's, this is kind of, this is keepies, but that's all right. So I know that for instance, if I put this right, right here, okay, I can make a mark here. I'm just gonna make a mark with the pen like this where everything is. So I'll just put a little dot here. Here, it's going to even that's a little sticky here. Okay. And the same thing here, here, and here. So I, I see I can see my marks here, right? So right about here is where my flower I've got the main thing of the flower is this shape here. And it's just a beautiful, it's a sort of a nice, um, let's see, maybe even make this darker. What I got that could be darker in my Posca pens. Mm, maybe I can try orange. I want you to be able to see it. You can try white. You think my white Posca pen would work? Maybe. Try that. Probably would like that better. All right. So, again, you will wait till yours is dry and then you're not going to have this. So, the very first petal is coming up. That's that's this one right there. So that's coming out like that. We'll have traceables for you. And all you have to do to access the traceables, wait for tomorrow. And then um then our website, acrylic painting with gingercook.com for the basic supporter, which is the orange member and above. That's a four ninety five a month membership. And yeah. other memberships are above that. And they all have access to it. So there's that, and we know that there's a little bit of right up here like this. There's some of this um, kind of something up here like that. And we've got something coming around here like that. Now this petal is coming off of this way. And it's not it have to be perfect, but we know that this, this is coming down here like that. And there's the outside of this petal okay i'm drawing that on and then you've got one kind of swirling around this way and here's the let's make this a little longer i'm going to make this a little bigger this isn't quite big enough all right then i've got one kind of coming up here here's that thing so it's right about there is where it comes up like that like that and then oh that kind of swirls around like that this comes like this and then now this is this is kind of key where the stem comes it starts down here see where it starts right there and swirls around to here so what you want to do is do some dots follow the dotted line and then follow the dotted line you'd be amazed how much easier that is if you do it like that. So you're going to follow the dotted line like that. And then you're going to do another one 
up here like this, a little skinny one. Follow this dotted line down like that. That's going to attach to that. And then you've got this one's crossing over here. Little dots, see what I mean? And comes up here to this. This one up here like that. And then it, this is kind of very nicely just swings around like that. This curves, you've got these beautiful curves that goes off the canvas. And so basically all of this then is our, our rose. And here's this going off that direction, uh, kind of like that. All right, so far so good. Everybody's with me so far? And then over here, we have in this section up here, just you can kind of just guess where it was, but you've got an you've got another little leaf that's coming like this, kind of a heart shape. Not perfectly heart shape, but sort of like that. With kind of one underneath it. Okay. And then you've got one, you know, you give yourself a break on some of this, but something like this that's coming well, yeah, that way. I'm trying to forge it here. Yeah, we're fine. Just that's what I've got, right? So that's how I've drawn this in. But again, I would suggest you wait till everything's dry and then. Yeah, if it, it is dry, you would be able to use a, a standard transfer, you know, traceable and transfer it on grid, whatever you want to do. But this is a uh, a live show. So you know what we we just I just felt like you know being able to use these, getting our brushes out over here, like this. And uh, okay, so what do we know about yellow? Yellow loves white, so we're going to take some white paint. Maybe buddies. And paint this uh, flower in here like that. Okay. And uh, we'll paint it right over this. And it's just very smooth. Someone says, What's it like to paint absorbent ground in? Very smooth. So why I'm doing this, who are our mods today now that everybody's had a chance to come? Who are we saying hi to? We're going to say hi to the three L's. That would be Liz, Liz 2, and Luann, and Steffi. Our Lynn in Quebec is not using her moderator, but she's on, she's on staff here somewhere, running around. That's interesting. They're all disappearing now. People are disappearing from my list. That list doesn't work that good, guys. Right now it shows I have two, four, six, eight. I have 12 people watching the show. Really, that's it? Well, according to the participants, yeah. We have nobody came today? Well, it was 350 on the counter, but if you do the participants, I only see 12 names. Well, maybe those are the only ones that are bothered. To, maybe they're counting them for chatting or saying something? I don't know what they do. That's YouTube. Okay. Is the YouTube difference. Hey, we'd like to thank Kendra Smith for the donation that came in through the pay PayPal system. Thank you, oh, Ms. Thank you Kendra. very much. And the, Kendra, what I'm painting right here, we thank you very much, is I'm painting a little bit of the yellow oxide for the inside of this flower. And I know I want that a little bit darker down in here. And I'm just going to do this, kind of scallop that. And right in here, a little yellow oxide. And we've got the little... Now Judy sent me one of our moderators sent me some new some triangle brushes to try. I'm not sure I'm going to try those tonight, but here they are. They're still in the wrappers. Little triangle brushes by Bristol on, and we'll have to give these a try. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll try them tonight, Judy. We'll think. I'll hang on to them, get them out. Thank you very much for those. I love it when people find new things because I, you know, um, uh, it's amazing what you can you know, what's out there that, you know, you can find. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of burnt sienna and, and kind of this light orange color, and I'm going to do my stem here like this. And just the nice thing about these brushes, little burnt, burnt sienna and then orange is that light orange is that you can, harder you push, the fatter the line, but if you just use the toe of it, just the pointed end, get some really good, uh, stuff in there right so we're going to say this came up like this 
the same thing here. This was a little one like that. And then there was something that did this, kind of that, kind of fold it back in. It really reminds me of wheat, not a rosebud, but you know, I'm not criticizing. It's kind of what it looks like. You know, it kind of looks like a weed thing to me, but that's all right. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. We're not we're not criticizing. You can't criticize Mr. Head. Come on. Mr. Head, I'll show you some of the other stuff. He's, he's our buddy. We've got a lot of his tutorials in our academy. Somebody wrote on a comment the other day. They said, I watched your video. I don't know anything about painting. There's no point in watching your channel because you're not teaching anything. We're, we go <laughs> pretty fast with the, we're kind of an entertainment show. We have step-by-step, -step, just my voice videos. Over 500 step-by-step -step videos from never painted before to 10 hours worth of really challenging painting techniques and um, just to following along in our um, in our academy. And if you go to acrylicpaintingwithgingercook.com, you will for sure see that. And you can you can see those. And uh, and that's a that's a good way to go to too. And then also we uh, but really on the show here. What you're you're gonna if you just listen, you will discover a lot of stuff. This is we well, at least we think you will. We think we think we feel you will. Okay. We feel you will. So so you see how I'm sort of kind of uh, assessing this in right now, like that, and um just you using the brush and then just kind of curving it. There we go. Let's just there you go, I'm just sort of curving that out like that. Okay, like that. There we go. And it gives me an idea of what my background's looking like now on this, yes? Are you happy with it? Oh, yeah. I thought you would be. Yeah, I am. There's actually another little uh, petal that's coming back behind here like this. Let me just put that in there. There's a little, put a little orange with it. There's another little petal that's back here like this behind this one. Like that behind this flower. But the darker part is... The darker part of this is right here at the top of the base, right in here. I'm just looking at things I can paint. And if I put a little burnt umber and, say, purple together, that would be my darker color here like that. And I'll just do the little shadow color on this. I'll bring it off like that. That's a kind of, that's a neat trick. Just burnt umber and a little of that purple. And there you go. You can kind of see, just kind of do it to the, a right of the the of the right hand side of the stem there, so they go like that. It and I put all the these little tiny ones in. Helps with um, the three D effect. One of the things somebody sent us what they they're called bigger acrylic paint pens, and you can't buy them individually. Amazon had them on sale recently for instead of thirty five for fifteen for the set. The bigger pens, and you don't see me use them very often. My favorite one was their dark brown one. That a really nice dark brown one that I kind of used up or left the cap off or something happened to it. All right, so you guys can kind of see this is where I've got so far. And then I know that, for instance, I've got just a little bit of this right there. Now, here's an interesting thing because it's absorbent ground. Let me show you a trick. See that dark line? I do. Now, I've got a little bit of water on the brush. Now, look here. I can, I can. Watercolor. I can, I can soften that line a bit by just adding a bit of water there and. You see how it's going to want to bleed a little bit like that. Then it's kind of fun, actually. Here's a little bit of this orange color right back here. I've got a little, something a little bit of oranger and then yellow. There we go. Let's see. Wipe the orange off. Go into yellow. There we go. Behind that, just putting in some of these shadow colors. Now, there we go. Ooh, it's the fun. So, any questions, John, while we're doing this Marvel stuff here? Edwin wants you to be reassured that there are 350 people watching, and don't, don't be so upset, even though my participant says there's only 12. Let's see what it says now. Oh, I got more than 12 now, but it's an interesting what it shows you. I, It's worthless information. So... What can you do? Well, I'm going to put a little yellow oxide here next to my stem here. 
Uh, Patricia asking last week, you asked about for questions about Ginger and John. Are you going to talk about them today? No, we're saving those. We're saving those. We're going to be doing. Keep asking, you know, in the comments again tonight, if you have questions you want to ask us, please do so in the comments. We're collecting them up for a special reason. Yeah, we have a special reason. We're going to answer them all and, and name you out. So we, we want to hear the answers. There were some things that were, you know, really fun to ask, right? So um, now that I've sort of seen what we have here, I'm going to take some um, this light yellow color and I'm going to just do the first one here. I'll just take that light yellow. I think I'm going to take a little cad yellow medium. Cad yellow medium is uh, not in this, you know, it's a little brighter than um, the, the yellows in the Salvador kit, but I knew yellows are kind of iffy colors, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take some um, burnt or rather yellow oxide, right? And now look, if I do, see it's half and half, right? Half and half. Now, here's the trick. Normally I would, we're just going to kind of try to blend that in a little bit, right? Like that. So take, Chris is asking a question. Does the absorbent ground keep allowing you to use that blending technique until you varnish it? No. Well, it depends. If you Not, fill it, if you fill it full of paint, it doesn't, right? Yeah. Once it, once you start getting enough layers on it, you've blocked it. Acrylic takes over then. Yeah, like for it's instance, fully this, fully acrylic acrylicized. Yeah. Once you start doing that, here's a little bit of this orange. So you've got. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that, a little bit of that <laughs> light orange and yellow here uh, on the brush Patricia. at the same time. We have absorbent ground on the base is what we started with, and it was a watercolor effect. You will want to go back to the beginning and see how it was done. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a big brush just watercoloring it. All right. Somebody wanted to know, could you change the background at this point if you wanted to, if you found it didn't work for you? Well, I still have to do some with it. Like, for instance, I don't like that big white spot right there. Okay. That one there. So, yeah, so I'm definitely going to be changing yeah. the background a little bit. As long as he doesn't keep building up uh, acrylic on top of it, it'll still be absorbent. At some point, if you really didn't want it absorbent anymore, let's take a little bit of this yellow oxide. I'm going to come up here like this and paint this um, this petal in here, sort of a combination of, of, of uh, yellow and this. All right, and let's do... I like those colors, that or light orange and that. So let's do that and this over the white. That's nice. Let's take a little bit of this light yellow. There you go. All right, that's good. You definitely can build up layers with this. And um Let's see, I don't want that much paint. So I'm going to come along here, starting with these darker colors. I find, I'm finding it's a little bit easier almost to add this darker one here and then put a light over it. Because there is a, because I haven't dried anything, there is a certain amount of this that's just um, wanting to hang on. Okay. Uh, let's see. I, want, I know I'm going to want this lighter here and this lighter up here. I'll just come in front of that. So this is another one where I think layers are going to be important. You know, you just kind of look where your lights and darks are, but, you know, layers are going to be real important to this flower. And uh, the same thing here is a little bit of white and yellow. This is the top part of this one. So I want the paint just right here in like that. There you go. Want that lighter. See there? I want this lighter right here. Then I want something light on the top of this. You know, so it's it's really fun actually. I'm kind of having fun with that. But you have to kind of experiment with it. I'm just which I'm doing right now too. I don't use this stuff very often. Uh, John will tell you, and I usually don't because it's just, there's a, just enough to do without, you know, using stuff too much, but there you go. See how I got that lighter there, but you don't want, what you don't want is a half line. You want to make sure that all these lines blend in. 
So you know, smooth it completely. You've got through. to smooth it completely out. For instance, if I'm saying that this is a darker side to this rose right here, you've got to smooth this out. Okay. And, um, and get the shadows. Now. Um, oh, here's a question from Anne Marie. Now, now I understand the question. She's asking about the color codes of our membership. We have, we start off with green, orange, yellow, red, blue, and purple. Every level that's higher than the previous level can see things, can see everything that's below it. So I believe Anne Marie is a red level, so she can see yellow, orange, and green. She cannot see the blue. Purple is just red and blue together. Purple can see everything that we offer. I hope that explained that for you, Anne-Marie. Yeah. We just, by having everything on one side, we used to have a junior academy site and that just confused people to death. So we thought, well, that's not working. So we, John, <laughs> well, in, in John's thing to move everybody over, we used to just call it DLL and Wave and Water Masterclass, but we realized that- um, We have other categories. We now. have other categories and it's just easier to do it by color. All right, that would be the best explanation we can give you. Now you see how this is developing. It's very interesting, isn't it? How this is coming together. Don't you guys think so? I think it's beautiful. And it 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 is pretty. And again, it's it's an effect that's you know it's a little bit more challenging to get um, with acrylics um, normally. And so this allows you to do it. Now somebody asked about the background. Let me just put these leaves in. I'm going to do the dark green with some yellow, I think, for these these leaves right here. I'm gonna come up here and... Now, when I apply the absorbent ground tonight, I, I use at least a minimum of three layers. Three thin layers. You do not want to do one thick layer. Multiple thin is better. Three is actually really the minimum. The more you add, the more absorbent it will be, the more time it will act as a watercolor effect. But once you build enough acrylics on top of a certain area, it, you you block the absorbent ground or can't absorb anymore. Yeah, so this is just that dark green. What's the, the one they named funny, right? Ray would like to know if you don't want to use the absorbent ground, could you just, you know, regular acrylic, can you get a similar effect? Hard. You'd have to work at it. You have to work at it. It's It's much harder. This is just, you know, like you can still get dinner if you don't use a microwave. It takes longer, right? What? Don't use a microwave. I said if you you can still get dinner if you don't use a microwave, it just takes longer. Don't Why you think that was a good analogy? Control? What? You don't yeah, think that, that was a, a good analogy? That is excellent, my cleanness. I thought that was a great analogy. That was perfect. If I thought of it myself, I would have said it. That's right, right? So there's go now I'm gonna do this light green color here. And I want this lighter than I've got it. So let's see, how am I gonna do that? I'm gonna take some white and yellow and I've already got green on my brush and I'm gonna lighten this up here. I, you can still go dark, I, you can still do in the dark to light. That works pretty good. I want this yellow green though. There you go, I like that yellow green color. Okay. Will and, the new website keep the cookie levels? Yes. They're not real, they're not quite visible yet. We're working on that aspect of it, but yes. And what's neat about the new website, you guys, and one of the things that bugged me about the other one was if you were working on a certain painting, um, and we had suggested videos, but they didn't necessarily go. You know, the new website allows you to um, was it's going to have you know a list of other videos in that category, and we're going to have a search we're going to have a search page very much like what we have on Pinterest where all the flowers say flowers and glass vases are there and you can just click on it and then that'll take you to that lesson. Or all the animals. Or, or all the, the doggies or, or whatever, or, right? Yeah. We'll have a whole, that it's going to be a very busy next two weeks. You'll see a lot of changes when we start putting things And together. then we've got a whole new front page. We don't understand the front page is not done yet. We just have it, but we have a beautiful front page coming for it. Um, you'd be real proud of John when he gets this done. Um, let's see, this is the darker side of this. Let's see, we have a right question. Here. Can you paint over the new liquid varnish? Uh, yes, yes, you can. It's not really new. It's the same stuff they've always had. It's just we've never used it. But I have painted over it, and it, then you just varnish over that once it's dried and no problem. Okay. 
And another question came through, John, can you use just the rolling ground in one area of the canvas? Yes, you can. Or you could just varnish over it when you don't need it anymore. Yeah. You know, yeah, you can varnish, you, you can rolling ground the whole thing and just paint what you want and then just seal it. Then just seal it, which is and nice. And then go back to your regular painting. How long do you dry the absorb ground between layers or do you use a, I use a dryer because this was a last minute decision. I decided that like 10 o'clock <laughs> last night, this is what I was going to paint. Which is very My difficult. daughter said it, she has the whole six months planned out what you're going to see, but I we, just We, get, we got I, six minutes, you know? <laughs> I need to be inspired, dear friends. Uh, you ideally you should wait twenty four hours between coats. Let it really dry. I just really want to be inspired. This is why you're not seeing so much. All right, so I want to work on this area right here. So eventually, I'll have a bunch of these ready to go once I get caught up. But, so I need sort of a soft brush for this, which is why I did that other one. Maybe I need a little soft brush. Have I missed this any? This is questions? a nice soft brush right here. I need a little water. What brush are you using? Soft brush. This one right here. This is oh. A, Created Mark White number thirty. That's the new one we just got. Yeah, it's it a mural been, brush, and it I, hasn't I even just, been touched. I just, I just need a nice soft brush. I think I want, what do I want in there? Maybe a little bit of oh, the orange and burnt sienna, probably here. I'm not sure. Just, let's, eh, a little bit of magenta. Will the newest lessons be listed, or are they going to be alphabetical by time? Eventually, they're going to be listed by date. But right now, when we're putting in all the old lessons. The date's going to go by the old lesson, so it doesn't make any sense. So, but yes, we're going to flip that little switch once we get them. Once it's all done, once yeah, everything's once we get moved over. over there. Hey, that, the that, that's kind of cool, right? That's a pretty color. That's a pretty color. That's the sort of shots I'm not scratching it up too much. It's sort of a, you know, peach and stuff. Well, I, I liked it because it was a little of that color was right there, right? And I think I wouldn't mind. You know, I don't know. Maybe yeah, some we're of gonna this... have categories. We're gonna have it. It's gonna be. It's gonna be lovely. Yeah, it's just a, you know, just kind yeah, of. We had a few donations come in. Anne Marie, thank you very much for your donation. Really do appreciate that. We've got a couple more here. Also from Tammy, Ginger. <clears throat> Ginger, you have been the best teacher who has come into my life for the past four years. Aww. You have made my life more joyful, learning how to paint. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And one more. There you go, there you from go. From Joan, thank you, Miss Joan. All coming through the PayPal system. That's our preferred system because the dollars go further. They take 3%, whereas YouTube likes 30. Everybody's gotta make a living. I love painting with my fingers. Would it be a technique I could use with this background? I have no idea. I've I never tried it. Why don't, you, either, why don't you let us know? Do something yeah. and post it on. on um, tell you what I want you to do. I hope you're a member of our Facebook club. And then try it. something like it. that. Post it on Saturday and explain what you did. We all want to know, right? You guys? Um, I don't know if it would. I don't think it would work myself, but you know, I've. But yeah, I don't want to be. Gonna, I don't want to gainsay it. Isn't that? No, I, that's I'm going to have old... to try it. Now I'm going to have to do a little six by eight and just play with it. We just don't know. I don't know. We don't know because I mean it's know. really not it's not it's like could you fingerprint on watercolor paper because it's the same thing it's like trying to paint on a very absorbent but see that's really paper. hard to do you can't move it around the paint's going to go in and stay yes you can't move it around it's it's there okay yeah, that'd be that'd be interesting well let's know how that goes and if yeah, I do but, it I'll, you know, I'll but we it. don't think so but then that doesn't mean anything just because we don't think so just <laughs> we just it you doesn't know, mean a thing obviously you know. Um, oh goodness! I, I remember. I'll tell you an, an example. I'm going to throw my daughter under the bus, right? When she was younger, she was in high school. She entered this art contest for the state fair. Okay, I put a little blue up there. I want some of this blue color? That's pretty, right? It's dried enough, and right? I got a little zinc white, and it's kind of light blue color. And um, anyway, um, ooh, isn't that pretty? Well, here's a nice comment from Miss Liz. Before I found Ginger, I only dreamed of painting. Then just watching on YouTube was enough to help me realize my dream. Oh, thank you, Liz. I cannot thank her enough. So the the, the story about Cinnamon went like this. Um, she was entered, she joined to enter this second, I don't know, ninth grade or something. And she wanted to enter this contest for the state fair there, art contest. And she waited till like two days before to enter. 
And then I had, I was finding myself rushing around getting frames the next day at Michael's before I could enter the, you know, I could put it in there, right? And enter it in. And I remember saying at the time that, you know, responsible artists, you know, thought of things ahead of time and, <laughs> you know, thought this stuff out. And this was my opinion or mother's and whether I know prophets never honored in their own hometown, certainly not in their own house, apparently, that this is a bad idea. But, you know, OK, I'll do it. And I thought, well, she'll figure it out. I'm, words don't teach. Yes, it just uh, action does. Right. So since words don't teach, I figured I'd just show her. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what she won first place on her painting, and then and then she sold it without giving me a chance to buy it, and it had a chance to go on tour to the governor's mansion if she'd left it there, but somebody bought it from her. And I'm thinking, you know, if it was, you know, anyway, she sold the painting and she won, and and then there were a couple other incidents where she waited till the last minute, won art contests, and what can you say, right? What what are you gonna say? Because you know, you you think you're so you're when I think when I say it, don't moment. always know, you know, I I admit it. I mean, but um, I guess that's the point of this. You don't always know. You know, something may be wonderful, but we don't know. So try <laughs> it, right? Because you know, my my experience stuff like that doesn't work. But look, she won an art contest just because she thought it was a good idea. See how pretty the background is. I mean, it's very similar to what we got on this paper, just kind of fooling around in the computer. I think it's kind of pretty anyway. I don't know. Maybe guys, what do you guys think? But um, Are you mumbling over there? I'm mumbling. All right. <laughs> <laughs> See a little bit of green down in here. Ooh, ooh. See? All right. So, all right. So far, so good. Yeah. Hey, we'd like to thank Catherine for the donation that came in through PayPal, as well as Sharon. Thank you for doing what you do. Not many people can teach. You are always teaching. If people would say would only open their ears and mind and keep their mouth shut. Oh, I added that part. <laughs> and one more from Barbara. Thank you, Miss Barbara. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little this is a little just titanium white. Kind of separate that out. Now we're starting to put the lights and darks on the petals. So you see you can actually see something. Oh, here. the instructions say white rose. Oh, pooh bear. <laughs> what says white rose the hashtag in the directions it's going to be yellow rose I, I will change that after the show okay we change the original title of this is a, is a yellow as a white rose white yeah, rose it, it didn't look white here's the this is what the original looks like. it doesn't look white to me Sorry. it was called white rose against the sky and you know what I mean? It's got a brown, what sky? I mean, I don't know. Maybe something happened. It was painting when it all died. We don't, don't know. know. So we changed it to yellow rose. And then, by golly, I forgot to change that in there. So, yes, yeah, so it's going to be yellow rose. And we'll put that up here on one of these breaks here. There. You can smudge it with your finger a little bit, by the way. Yes, you can. So for those requiring minds, you can smudge this a little bit. Yeah, you can smudge it, but I don't think you can do the whole background. I uh, just think that'd be no, though I do have a marvelous finger. If you like that stuff, I've got a marvelous finger painting lesson on YouTube. Yes, you do. You know, I just want to mention that I do have that. Let's take a little darker green did here. Did Ginger use fluid paint on the absorbent ground or just regular acrylic? A regular just regular acrylics. Just our Salvador colors. And I just used a lot of water with it originally. Okay. Um. The other thing you could do is you could, it would be much rougher. You could use stucco too, um, the Liquitex stucco, but it would be very grainy like sand, so it'd be hard to get the details. But maybe if you wanted more texture, like for instance, see if you zoom in because of the program I had, see all the texture in this program. I oh, have wait, you know you probably, if you, I think if you used um, uh, we quick. didn't try, but I think you might even be able to use Liquitex stucco. That's interesting to see. I mean, I would think so, but. All right, so so far so good. Yes and yes. So it's let's, a work of art. Now, um, oh, you're so clever. So John, I'm going to have to dry this in a minute, but I want to come back in here and darken it a little bit around. Add a little more color. A little bit of more color, you know, kind of next to my flower here, and uh, see where anywhere else needs to put a little green, maybe sort of differentiate it from the flower. Now I can kind of almost scrub it on because it's almost dry brush it on now. 
Okay. Yeah, you pretty much sealed it. Because I've, I've, you know, I've got a little dry brushing I'm doing here, but like, for instance, right here next to this flower, if I put a little green over that yellow, see, that makes the flower stand out because, you know, there's this old adage, wherever there's a light, there's a dark. You the hear me say adage. that all the time. And I might even just put a little leaf, just suggest a leaf down there, too. I think he didn't, but I'm, you know, what does he know? <laughs> Kidding, right? Oh I, my! I'm in one of those. Boy, you're in rare form tonight. I am, right? Let's just. Let's just How do you pick on our ODGs, huh? Yeah. Well, look, you know, we're doing it. We're, we're doing we're it. Kind of a little bit on the old. Well, you know, we don't know exactly what's going on. You know. We will have a traceable on this, and again, yeah. if you let it dry fully, you will be able to use a traceable, not the way we had to. Yeah, we do just a kind of. Grid. You know, do as we say, not as we did. Yeah. On this you like that? One. Just be like your mom. Do as I say, not as I do. Right? Did your mom ever do that to you? Do as I say, not as I. A little bit of color there. A little color there. That's kind of cool, right? Yes and yes. Now we still have to put the little purpley flowers and stuff. So I'm give, let me just give this one more shot at drawing. Do another drawing, John. We'll do it for the kitty cat. So what are we doing for the kitty cat before we. Okay, so for the cat. For the it was called kitty dinner time, was the hashtag we used. Yeah, now, um, um, the, those of you who were with us last Monday and did the little cat with the mouse, if you entered the hashtag dinner time, dinner time, you were drawing for this downloadable lessons over almost $95. I think it is $95. It's on a 10 by 12 canvas, and it's a downloadable, many part of step by step tutorial, tutorial, own it forever. And so we're drawing for that. I'm going to dry now. And I'm going to silence you now. Ooh, get to silence the queen. All right, let's go back to our drawing. Over here. This time we're going to be going for the lesson, downloadable lesson. It's the same lesson we're using. Hashtag will change to dinner time. And get the comment. We have 110 people. And we're going to randomly select. Are you done drawing, Queenie? Yeah. So you're still selecting it? Huh? Vanna, Vanna Maria Mann. Vanna, yeah, it must be Vanna. Vanna Maria Mann, you are the winner of the downloadable lesson. Oh, Vanna, congratulations. Wow, so you have 10 days to contact us. Uh, go to acrylicpaintingwithgingercook.com, use the contact us, and uh, let us know, and we will um, be right with you on that. We'll take care of you. Now, the other thing we're drawing for tonight are the prints, the uh, prints for, um, the limited edition prints for the um, last bird hop. You guys remember this was, we did, the, we, the auction for this, these birds ended Friday. Okay, so that's the auction's over, but the prints are still available for sale through the archer from my daughter. And we finally got a sample of the prints and got our signed and sent back to her if, from the first set. So if you were collecting prints and collecting the sets, this is what how they will be um, done, except it will be the newer images. But so <laughs> that would be good. So we're drawing, we're drawing for the new images which we can't show you because we don't have, but they'll look like this, except they'll be the new images from the spurt <laughs> That is so confusing. But it will be drawn from the images for this. You know, there'll be the print for these, right? Right. Okay. Aren't these, they, they were so cute. I thought those That was from our nice. number two birdie auction. Yeah. Birdie hop. Yeah. So so we, had, we were on number two, four, and six. So John, um, you, um, I'm I'm gonna just keep painting here, but you'll get ready to draw for those. Um, yeah, you keep painting because I gotta go find the video. John's gotta find the videos for that, and I'm gonna go ahead and using this. Um, yeah, where's these new brushes, Judy? Let's see what they do, Judy. Let's find out what they, what the brushes do. Um, just cut the bag here. It's so weird. Okay, so Judy sent us these brushes from Jerry's Artorama, right? And what they did was, when John went to pick them up at the P.O. Box, there was just a flat. 
And piece it was a of flat, cardboard. A huge piece of cardboard. I'm talking 14 by it's, 16. It's almost as big as this table. And it was flat. And there was nothing. I said, did they forget the box? And there's just a label on it. I'm like, what is this? And there was no way you'd know anything beside it. And in the middle of that were these brushes squished in there somehow. It, it was oh, completely really completely sealed. The whole thing was just sealed, glued. Yeah. All right. These are called dagger. These are called um, triangle brushes. Pointed triangles. So we're thinking that they're doing... I'm thinking they're going to do something like this. Well, I'm thinking that. Let's see. What do they do, Judy? Let's let's look at them. I'm having a little hard. I'm having a kind of a hard time getting a line with these. I might need more of a fluid paint. Might need more of a fluid paint. If you push harder, you get a thicker line, which is fine. You can lift up with them. It takes a while sometimes to get used to things. You need a little bit more water with them. I think they had to. You know, and the other thing is, do you guys know that brushes come with like a starch on them? You got to rinse that off. Like it's called sizing. So, you know, and I tell you that great information because I didn't do that. So let's see how they work now that we've taken the starch off. Well, gosh, isn't that better? Hmm? So um, that's interesting, don't you think? Let's see, I want something a little darker here. And we know we've got, got some little funny ones going that way. And I, I don't think it's, um, I'm kind of doing sort of a green and dark brown. I don't think it really matters. You are getting some very thin lines with that. I'm, 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 you've got to have some pretty fluidy paint, but that's all right. I've got that. I put a little water on this brush, and I'm just barely painting with it. Maybe I should paint it backwards. Okay, so if you paint it backwards, that's interesting. You can, you can make little fun leaves. I would say something like this. Practice it with it first. Again, one of these don't do what I just did. Do what I, you <laughs> know, what I'm I mean, you. practice with it first to kind of get an idea of what a brush does. You know, take a little that separate piece of paper. But these are called. Um, triangle brushes. Triangle brushes. Well, we thank you, Judy. We'll have to play with it more. Judy, sure. That was very kind of you. Thank you very much. And um you can kind of see where I'm kind of twisting them. Make sure your background is the way you want it before you get too far along. Like you can get a really, really fine line, that's for sure. Well, you can. You can get a fine line, and that's the whole the, the whole thing here. Do you have to wash all new brushes with soap? You have to at least wash the sizing out. Water wash, will usually do it. Wash the sizing out of them. Same with the if you if you do pen and ink and you buy the 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 the, the pen tips, you got to wash those for sure. Maybe with soap and water. But just pieces of things you may not have realized. Okay. Well, I mean, this gives me as kind of a start on some of these fun little. Um, I mean, because there's a lot of little fiddly lines in this picture, right? Yes and yes. And, and this is a nice way to get it. Yeah. So uh, these were these probably came at an opportune time. Okay, and then see these were more purple. We had some kind of this. This almost got into the purple colors back down here. And again, I told you the the acrylics on absorbent ground have a tendency to dry a little lighter. Okay. But um, we have some, uh, just a little bit here like that. And then we've got, you can do very fine lines for sure. All right. So that, that's good to know. All right. So again, you know the tip about um, not, when you have a fine brush like that, don't put it in water. Don't let it uh, sit, don't let it just sit it. in the bottom and smush it up there in water. That would be a mistake, all right? Smush so, another um, technical term. Yeah, so don't, don't smush it up in water. Now, this has got 
some sort of like leave things doing this go across here like that a little bit of yellow like that and um let's see i want to do something up here yeah i want to take a light yellow like that and do this on next to this there we go So what happened there was um, we had too much paint on the brush and wipe that off. So be careful when you're dipping into paint. Kind of, you always see me flatten out the brush before I get too far along. You want to flatten out your brush. Take a little bit of white and yellow, I think. Cad yellow here. There we go. All right, that's good. Just so far, so good. So we're just adding some highlights here, a little bit of light up there, like that. Light there, just do something like that. Let's take some of this light. That's just titanium white and cad yellow medium, and let's make sure we've got this light. Okay, that was a lighter. Um, flower here we go and uh some very nice yellows in this oh salvador kids has got great yellows salvador has got great great colors this is a this is a really good um, one to do it they're very expensive when they go on sale they're um the, the you get great deals on them the salvador paints Oh heck yeah! We got uh, really, really good deals, and yet if you just did the math on them, when they normally sell their kits for like twenty five dollars, right, something like that, when you do the math, they're actually probably more expensive than mm -hmm. or as expensive as any of your 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 good paints. But the thing of it is, is that you buy little tubes, and honestly, they get all these colors, and I've seen them as low as ten dollars for a full set of twenty four colors on Amazon when they put them on sale. You just can't beat that, you guys. Do you have to use a gesso on the canvas before the absorbent crown? Yes. The absorbent crown has to go on top of gesso. It cannot go on top of acrylic. They want it on a gessoed surface. It's good to know, isn't it? Good, good. And don't good. add anything to it, trying to tint it or anything. It's not designed for that. I don't know if you can do it, but if you're putting an acrylic into it, you're starting to seal it. Yeah, okay. It's defeating the whole purpose of it. Yeah, there you go. Let's just lighten that up. And again, you can keep playing. I mean, you've got a lot of room here to to play with all these colors. This is fun. I don't know. I'm just kind of doing all right. Um, and of course, if you drop something on it's a little thicker, it'll be doing that. Now, what are we missing here? What we're missing is... Uh, this is pretty light right here, so let's make that darker. The same thing here too. Let's make that a little darker so that shows up. You have to sometimes you have to come around and just, you know, um, add a bit of contrast if you don't have it. Either something's got to be lighter or darker than something else. Now the wonderful thing is, if you've ever used a, a ultramarine blue and magenta, it makes a beautiful purple. Okay, so ultramarine blue and magenta more magenta than ultramarine blue and i want to do like a little blue bell here just a little bell here i'm going to put it right here like this just kind of just boom boom them like that let's bring one down oh let's let's just say that one's like a bud let's bring one down here and i'm just using my brush my angle brush to create that okay absolutely stunning and, and it just yeah and here's another one right here um we're going to do one right here we're going to say that there's one coming off the, the side of this and then here's the middle middle one this one's a little bigger i want a little more blue on this side okay bluebell guy Hey, we'd like to thank uh, Vanetta for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. 
Thank you, Miss Vanetta. Oh, yeah, thank you. And how's Arizona? Hot. I'm sure it's so hot. Yeah. That was so hot when we went out there. Uh, yes and yes, huh? Let's just do a little one up here like that, because I think those are kind of pretty. I think these bluebell thingies are kind of pretty, and we've got another one. I think we've got one here, maybe out here a little bit, too. That's nice. Um, and we've got one down here, which is, uh, that was a pretty one. And he's got another one that's kind of coming back here. I just, I'll just slip it in here like that. There we go. I think I think those are really nice. And then we've got um, a little bit of orange. I want a little bit more contrast in here, so I'm going to make that a little darker, right? See how we're starting to bring out the contrast in the in the picture? Because if you could just Remember that if there's something light and something dark, um, you know, if you want something to show up, you you want it to um, to show up, then you've got to have contrast. And think, write the word. This is what I've been telling everybody to do. Write the word random. It's just some zinc white on top of here. To stick give it on your forehead. Yeah, just write the word random. Stick stick it on your um, easel. Okay. Okay, let's look, let's look, just a little bit of a contrast. There you go. There you go. See how that things look two dimensional. If it's just one color, it just looks like a coloring book. So if you want something to look two dimensional, there has to be a light and a dark side to it. Yeah. It has to have some some roundness. Yeah. Do you want that? And um, oh, here's a good question for you, my queen. This: How does somebody enter the drawing at the end of the quarter or fundraising scholarship fund? Why don't you touch on that a little bit? Do you have the picture paintings over there? I don't think you do. I don't know if I do. We well, can still touch on that. Um, I can. Um, we have for those of you who um, have been so kind as to support us during the YouTube shows and and donate through our PayPal system, um, even if it's just ten dollars every time we come on or whatever. Um, a dollar doesn't matter if in within three months time you have accumulated a hundred dollars for every hundred dollars donated you have an entry into winning an original painting and i have the three i don't think i think they're over here they're getting ready to be varnished they're good we don't have that we'll show the again the Monday. Though, we've but, got yeah. three really nice uh, paintings and um original paintings and you and it's kind of nice because you could have more you know you might have five entries one entry it doesn't matter but um something you can do okay so that's kind of coming along is it you guys don't you i think am so? really liking what you've done here queenie um i mean i think i feel like it is yeah but, um it's, it's an interesting with absorbent ground in that um uh for instance like i didn't quite get the sides of this done as well as i would have liked let me just put a little blue over here like that get the sides i think i just i don't know maybe when i touched it i lifted it off or what but i'll do a little bit of the sides and i know some of you are wanting to know well can you um you know can you add some purple like for instance here's a little bit of purple pink purple color what happens if you add it a little after it's dried a little bit but i think you can fool with it a little bit look at that again when you're you know do a, do tell you what i tell you to do is to do some absorbent ground on a canvas and let it dry. And then when you're just watching TV or something, get out some paints and doodle on it. Let it dry and then doodle something else. To get a sense it of what it'll do, you know? It's um, a new material. You have to play with it. Yes, yeah, 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 absolutely. Get a sense of what it, like, for instance, you see how that, remember I did a little bit of that light, uh, light on that. It just it didn't show up anymore, did it? I have to put it back. A little bit of light right there on this little yeah, blue Yeah, once it dries. Guy. Because it kind of disappeared on me, right? But I did that. And um, uh, uh, let's see what else I want to do with this. Um, well, you can see, I, I, for instance, there's that's kind of, I mean, it's nice, but it's just sort of dull. And then this gets sort of, this is all Be brighter. Nice now. It's this all, is Mr. Well, Head. I'm just saying that we don't know what happened to it over the years, no, right? No, we really don't. You know, paints weren't it's... that stable. I mean, when he calls it a white rose and it's that yellow, I don't really think it was. I, I think the paint has given up it, the ghost. It, yeah, and it, you, don't, you don't know. For instance, if I want to, you know, darken something down here in the corners, I can still do that. See what I mean? I could darken something. And even if I wanted a little bit darker in the kind of more in the 
There we go. To darken something down in here. I like this little bit of light right here and next to this picture here, right there. I like that little bit of light orange right there. I think that's pretty. So you can go back and, you know, you can play with this for sure. You've got, you can come back and, and do some stuff. Um, I want to show you real quick while this is sort of setting in here. We still have three drawings to go, my queenness. Yeah, so let me dry this one more time because I, I I promise you that drying it is not a bad idea. I want to put this line, I want to put that one in front of that there, right? Make sure we have that in front of there. And I want to make sure this is in front of there. I don't want to outline, but that's in front of there. All right, I'm going to dry this one more time. John, let's just, let's just do two more drawings, right? And um, right, go ahead. Well, I got three to do. All right, we're gonna do. We got to draw for the bird hop. Yep, doing the first bird hop. You're muted. Okay, as she's drawing that. Oh, let me bring my screen over. Boing. There I am. All right, we're gonna do this little birdie, which was the first bird of our second bird hop. I already brought it, it over. That's the link to it. Filter. You had to have bird hop. We have 96 entries. Let me just confirm that one more time. Yep. And the winner for this is going to be one of the limited edition prints. Lorraine. All right, Miss Lorraine. If you're out there, I think I haven't seen you tonight, but I know you watch our shows. So we will, uh, let me grab this real quick. You have got a print from bird hop number two, the first bird that Ginger did. And I, I've got to get this shot or I'm going to forget it. And real quick here, here we go. And yeah, I got, well, here, let me turn you back on. Okay, so we've drawn for one. Should we, we draw we'll for go one, one more? We got one bird number. Yeah. Two gingers print. Okay, now we're going to just down here. We can pick another winner. Okay. No, we don't want another winner here. No, we have to go to the other one. Now we have to go to number two. Yeah, the second. Yeah, because each bird hop had a. Each bird hop had, had their own little entree. Yeah. And number each... two was this guy, the red capped robin. And it's thinking. I didn't lose internet, did I? No. Yeah, so go ahead and you know do that. Well, it's not coming up. I might be able to use that link up there. Let's try that link. Paste that one in there. Let's see if it works. Yep. Okay, so this is the second bird hop. Yep, yep, Our yep. second bird hop's second painting that Ginger did. And the winner of that one is Deidre Pup. So Deidre, you have 10 days to use to contact us to claim your wins. Cool. I'll, bring, I'll bring the queen back. All right. We'll Deidre, have one more to do towards the end of the show. Congratulations, you guys. So you did all three? I only did the two. You said do two. I did two. All right. Well, I'm, as you can see, I'm just going ahead and using this little nifty little diamond. Um, you know, this uh, what are they called? This is uh, the, the triangle, triangle brush. brush, right? And um, I'm just putting in some little leaves here. See, as you can push and then twist, like you can take this like this and push and then lift up. See how you can get. This is a really nice little brush for trying to do something like that. And here's the, again, you want it kind of flowy. And again, the, the, the fluids, unless I'm barely touching it here like that. Let's just put a little stem right there. All right. There we go, right? I'm kind of liking that, right? Let's do this on that one. And, uh, this is good, and there were some lighter yellows. These are kind of lighter yellows up here, but that's all right. 
We don't have to be perfect. We don't know where he got these flowers. He may have made us all up anyway. I don't know. Like, how did he get a flower arrangement like that? Where did these all come from? I ask you. All right. So. Um, all right. Let me catch up on some of the questions that came through as we were doing the drawings. Okay. Uh, whatever happened to the beautiful wave painting that was used to be behind you? It's still back there, but we're not. It's just. It can't be used in a new setup the way we have it set, the, the studio set up now. John, did you add gesso to the canvas board first, or did you just use a gesso board? Just a gesso board. No more extra gesso. It doesn't need another coat. No, it didn't need that, right? Just, just. So we had the two winners. Kathy, great question. Does that to Kathy? Yeah. You don't, you don't need another gesso coat. No. All right, so we're gonna put the, the little diamond brush away, but it is a good little brush for um, doing small little bits of things. Yes, like for instance, like even here, like right here is a little bit of white. I'll put a little white right there. And here's our, um, I've got some little green here. I want a little bit of darker green here, right in the middle of this, right? Um, on that petal see so that's kind of nice right and there was a little bit of change brushes there was a little bit of green right here on this one and so this is dried enough now where i would put paint on the brush and then wipe it off and add this would be right here and add a little bit of this green color uh right there on this a little bit darker And then wipe my brush and then just sort of blend that out smudge that out there a little bit of green here so i mean you've got um you i think what's kind of neat about th this painting is that you've got a lot of kind of room to play with it does that make sense you got you just absolutely do okay and I think it could be darker, like for instance, right around here. See, because I want this flower to show up, I'm gonna darken it up here. You go back to whatever, there's a light, there's a dark business. Okay, and now, now the flower is, is showing up. And if I want, I put a little bit of orange with that green, that, that makes it a little bit more um, um, of an olive color. So I want something a little bit darker around this around this uh, flower so that it shows up. It's a, and and I, that's um doesn't have to be too dark. Like that's a little darker than I want, but I can blend that in and maybe even take some zinc white now and tap that in there up there like this. So you can there's your fingers there. There's our finger painting going like like that. Like, yeah, but it's kind of, kind of after the fact. You yeah. sealed it pretty much. Yeah. So Quite then I'm I'm looking at this going. This is kind of nice right up in here, and then maybe just bring a little of that green. How many cookies would you classify this one, my queenness? Well, yeah, probably a two, wouldn't you think so? I mean, if you're tracing it on. If you're tracing it on, I think you could do it. As a two. I think you could do. I th I think you could do it. I think what you have to do is be willing to be careful. Um, okay. That's like, for instance, if you look at what some of the things we've painted, like we have a painting coming up um, this next week in our academy. That's a that's a very advanced lesson. You would back way out for this, John. Back way out. This will be coming up every. This is a this is a a totally different style of way you paint something, and it's our you know um, our cowboy on his horse. Um, 18 by 18 canvas this is 20 by 20 canvas you said I guess 20 by 20 all right but whatever you know I'm saying this is a totally different style there's there's so many ways to paint something and one nice thing about it, you know you'll see certain artists that are very famous that, from the past and they have one style of painting like Van Gogh or Monet or those guys or Bob Ross or whatever they have a style what we try to teach you in our 
uh, teach you is all the different ways you can paint something. Find, you're going to find your voice, all right? Like, for instance, in singing, there's rap music, there's pop music, there's opera, there's all that stuff, right? But right. Uh, generally, people pick something. But learning how to do all these techniques, and here's why this is important, learning how to do all these techniques, all right, why you want to do that, I'll darken that in here a little bit like that. I told you that, you know, something like this gets a little darker. Why you want to learn to do that, all right, is because um, then you're going to come up with your own way of painting something that's just totally different, all right? So... Uh, let's see. Let's get a little. Oh, here's a good question from Maria. If I wanted to age this painting, would I glaze over it with burnt umber, or what would I do to age it? Well, I would probably use raw umber in all my colors. As you're painting it. As you're painting it, like 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 you would use maybe pepper when you're cooking. Right. A little that, tiny bit of raw umber. When that's you're referred to it. as what a mother color, right? Yeah, like a unity color. I would yeah. probably do that, right? So you're and, aging it as you're painting it. And age it as you paint it. Okay, I would say that would be boo. I don't know. I was talking to you and not thinking, but that's nice. I kind of like that right there. See, I mean, I I I would consider doing that. It's another one of those where there's a light, there's a dark thing, because you've got. You could do so, you know, you could do so many beautiful things to a picture like this. And um, again, I, I, I like a good olive, um, an olive green is very nice, right? And like, for instance, you know, having olive green right here, having an olive green. I like some of these darker greens on the edges. Um, just kind of brings your eye in like that when you when you do stuff like that. This will bring your eye in a little bit when you kind of color that maybe down here and then do that. Now, let's see. I'm thinking about, again, I want to say that I want to thank everybody who participated and in, um, and won the auctions on the original paintings in the bird hop. There will be another bird hop, we believe, end of October. I don't know that we'll have another auction with it. We haven't decided yet. There'll be another auction. Um uh but we will have but the prints again you still have time to get the prints from this last auction got to get those through cinnamon and uh let's see what well, else. got a question for you if you want to show shading over something red what color would do you use uh burgundy like a you know like naphthal red and a little ultramarine blue yeah would be the color um would be how you do You're it darken that red a little bit Yep. Make it a little white here. Come on, a little bit of white on the brush through there. We do have one more drawn to go, my queenness. All right. Well, go ahead and draw, and I'll just finish doing some of these light things, but I, I don't think I have that much more to go. I think we're just about done with this. If I can get my YouTube to behave on the other screen. I think I got a lot going on. Okay, so John's going to draw for the next print. Um, the limited, the, these are uh, the, these will be sent out. All the prints, none of the prints have been mailed out yet from any of the bird hops. Uh, they will be uh, John and Cinnamon are in charge of that. John Cooney and Cinnamon Cooney are in charge of that, and they will be. You, they have to wait till we sent. We had, we had to we had to sign them. They're all hand signed and numbered. We had to sign ours, and then they get shipped back, and then then they ship out. So, patience, you guys, if you're waiting for your print. Um, we're almost there with it. How's that? Almost there. All right, I'm going to get this all set up. You guys have seen me do this before, so we're just going to get it set up here. I was just going to go ahead and draw for that, right? Well, we'll interrupt you. Once I get it all set up here, okay. this is going to be for the entries from the comments from the Marty, our last painting of the bird hop number two. Yes. We have 103 entries in there. 103. Well, that was good. Now, remember the last, 
the very first bird hop, somebody didn't, nobody picked up their winnings. And you, we, we told you have 10 days, but we're giving you a mulligan. You've got a few more days to, if, from the very bird hop, check and make sure that you're not a winner. And, uh, and then you guys have 10 days from when we run this one to claim right. it. I'm going to interrupt her for a brief moment while we do this. She's just doing touch up. So let's just interrupt her for a quick second. It's all set up here. You can see that's the link, filters, bird hop. And the winner of the third painting of ginger print is PJ. And I know PJ is here because she's been asking all kinds of questions. Well, congratulations. So I expect to hear from you right away, Miss PJ. You have won the, the, the Marty. That's my favorite dude. The Marty bird hop. All right. So now I'm just kind of popping out the flower a little bit more, trying to get the, um, Trying to get that to show up a little more, right? And uh, I think we're just about 99% done here. Don't you guys think so? When you look at kind of what we painted here. And uh, I feel like we have a nice representation of how you might use absorbent ground to have get a watercolor effect when doing flowers. Which is good to have, know, right? And you can always, you know, like Prince, you, you've got... You can go over it. When it dries, you can come back and go over it. Now, I can't say that enough. You can you can go over it if you need to. You can keep going over it. Yeah, keep going over it if you need to. See, I want that little petal to show, so I just did it something there. Now, this feels a little dark here to me, so I'm going to do this there. But that's what I'm talking about. You've got, um, uh, as long as you don't end up with polka dots and and a patchwork quilt that you make sure that all your edges are out of focus they just disappear you can you can do a lot but you want to make sure that that's the case um uh mary we, we have a lot of new new, new folks with us and mary would like to know what brushes do you use the mostest mary that's a good question i'll tell you what i used to use the ruby satin silver angle brushes three eighths inch quarter inch five eighths inch which we still use and we still use but then bristol silver came out with the bristol on brushes were a little bit stiffer a and stiffer. and all the angles and i love those they don't and, do a three eighths and then like for instance i like the dagger brushes normally for um for thin lines like this i'll just show you real quick i'll do one normally for thin lines I would use a dagger brush and I'll just show you how that would work here like this. See how you can get That's very similar to the triangle. So I'm not really sure I, the triangle would probably going to hold more paint if it was more fluid. I don't know that, that so the dagger brushes are, you know, I, you know, maybe, it, and I think a lot of it depends on the medium you're painting in and what you're trying to paint. Right. Yeah. But you, you would, but for instance, a dagger brush, and then occasionally you might find yourself using, um, oh, let's see, uh, just a very small pointed brush. Uh, do I have any that's here? A double, that's a double here, zero. The double zero, right? And you again, if you need a thin line, you can like, for instance, let me just do a thin line right here. You can do a very thin line with a brush like this too, but it's it's not as thin. It's not going to be as thin as the ones we just did, right? I mean, you can use it as an accent. So a brush like this, I always have one. You never know when you need a brush like that. Um, you know, so just on GP, we have it, yes? And so when you're talking about, those are the ones we use all the time. And and like them, I like them a lot. And, and my favorite brush soap is the Art Sherpa brush soap. And you can get that from them now. Um, the Arch Cinnamon, um, in one of her projects, when she was helping out her kids, um, to find something to do, uh, they started making soaps and suddenly she discovered her, she invented, I want to say she invented it because it's really true. She, like, for instance, this brush right here, it's not the brush I want to use. I would use the, uh, probably the dagger brush for this. Uh, was that, that the dagger or the diamond? That's the triangle. I would probably use the dagger one for this to darken this. 
wanted to darken this um, um, this stem right here. So I, I would use this brush like that. There you go. And sometimes you know you know you're gonna want something. There we go, like that. So these are brushes that are very handy for stuff like this. So anyhow, um, cinnamon has got some great brush soap. It's the Archerpa, so you might, you know, look at that because I that's what John and I use uh, primarily. Yes. Yes. Um, Pretty much all I use. And uh, let's see what else. Oh, be sure you could, you know, our Facebook club is free, and um, we you can um, if, we love to see what you're painting from our um, uh, lessons and so forth, and. Um, I'll lighten that up a little bit here as we're talking. Kelly says, is my understanding the triangle brush is for a triple load lines? Oh, we're going to have to really study that then. Well, then we'll have to. Well, see, <laughs> I, I, I've never had one, so I've just... Um, Judy says there's a video. She'll send us a link for it. We know how to use it. Okay. I've never had one, but I did want to... Well, Ginger does more than a triple load. She does... She doesn't clean her brush, so she gets tons of colors in hers. Yeah, it's true. I do, right? And uh, but we, we we will learn. We're always learning. There you go. So you just sometimes you can just do fun little things like that, and uh, and you know have neat flowers. You know you know that's what we're looking for, right? We're going neat for flowers. the neat flowers. Yeah. And the, the, I do, Judy. I do like it. I will. I really do. I just look at that nice little line I made right there. Just zoop zoop, right? You like that word zoop zoop? Look at that. Yeah, I like, I do like them. So thank you very much. And if you have, you didn't show our, our box of goodies or the moose or the, the English stuff. Oh, right, we have uh, time. Nobody's going anywhere. Oh, we're sorry. You know, I just got to say, I want to thanks for the shortbread. If you knew how much I like, we can open it up. If you knew how much I like real English shortbread, you would, um, you'd be sending us a case all the time. Oh, a little bit, a little more contrast there. Now, uh, this is a trick here. See, I wanted the contrast there. I'm going to turn this upside down while I'm doing it. And then I'll just take that line so it doesn't look like a line and just sort of fluff it out. There, see? There, so let's just, there's my finger. There, I wanted to just, I wanted that pet flower to show up. And it's getting a little green in here, so I'm going to put a little more yellow in there inside of that. Okay. So why John's getting all that stuff? This gives me time to just sort of play a little bit more than before. That's my, that's my goal in life. I know. Just I just well, I mean, sometimes you just need you know you just want to do that, right, John? I do. And um, I just sometimes when you're painting something, you know, you just want a little more white something, or you want a little white there, or want a little white right there like that. And you because you want these flowers to show up. My gosh, right? So that's that was the whole. The whole enchilada there, you will need the, there you go, let's just come up there on that chip right there. You can have thick paint on here. Don't think you can't come back with thicker paint. Because I'm telling you what, everything is layered. And that's that's the trick. Everything is layered and um, that is just greener than I want. Uh, here's the color. Here's a nice yellow from Salvador, 343. Two, three, four, three. Three, three, four, three. I'll put a little more of that color in here. Okay, there you go. I just needed a little of that color with a little orange in there. And then I can see it. I keep looking at my picture, seeing little colors I want in this. And just do a little bit of that, tap it in. There. Oh, look at this, you guys. My hands are kind of painty, but look at oh, this. Oh, good. Get painted on my cat. Look at this. this is our new uh, new staff member. He's called Grumpy Cat. Isn't he cute? Kind of looks. And uh, this was from all the way from the United Kingdom. Sandy Perez. Uh, Sandy Perez. Thank you, Sandy. And the shortbread. Up here. Up here. What here? What? All that. All that. And that's from uh, I'll take my staff member. All right. Look at all this, this shortbread. You guys, look at that. Oh, and you wait, you see the box. <gasps> Look at the cows, aren't they cute? Yes. Like English cows. 
English cows, don't they look like some of Scottish cows, I think, right? And then look, 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 look. See, I just had to show you that. Not that you're all See, hungry, we haven't waiting for dinner. Yet. I haven't opened that because we were waiting you know for you. And, and she wrote us a candy. She it? wrote us this lovely note, which I'm not, I know. We appreciate it very much, Sandy. We read every word and thank you very much for this lovely gift. And I want to thank uh, Liz One for the pickle pecker. Pickle, pick, pickle picker. Picker. <laughs> Liz Singh is a pickle picker. Pick, pickle pick picker. Pickles. Yes. So we want to thank her for that. And um, those were some wonderful things that came in the mail this week. And um, I'm going to take a moment and sign this. Now, we don't forget to... Um, to claim your prize if you want it. And um let's just Oh and, Sandy's even with it. Sandy, what time of the morning is it there? What are you being bed, girlfriend? Come on. Who was she wanted to see if we liked her stuff? And yes we do. Sandy, all right. So now here. now that we've shown and thank you, we're gonna open the puppy and it'll be gone. I'm eating them. Now I can I'll eat them. Come up with a good name I'm for waiting all staff week. Now. I was waiting till I can't, I can't eat these till Monday. Oh no. <laughs> All right, so there's there's the name there, you guys, and um, we will see you next week. Something fun to do. Uh, keep those questions coming for us. You know, things you want to know from, about John and I. Anything uh, you want to know? We keep those questions with your hashtags in the comments. Uh, uh, because and it's going to be yellow rose, not white rose. I'll change that into. It said yellow rose hashtag yellow as rose. As I showed, you know, what I showed is what you need to put in there. Okay. So, well, hope you had fun with this. I did. I had a ball with it. You guys, and thanks very much. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing it. Did you feature any of our Academy artists? No. Do you want to do that, too? Well, look, we've got some marvelous artists that are bit, that have... Hey, we're right here. All right. So, we're just going to, as we leave, I guess, so you want to feature them as we leave? Who we got here? Well, let's bring over Holly. Uh, yeah, Holly's been with us for a few years, and... Did this fabulous painting of uh, this is one, the the boat the beach boat the beach boat. This is one of our tutorials originally by one of our old dead artists, and um, absolutely beautiful colors in that. Absolutely beautiful. Love that one. And she did that one, and and some uh, uh, Jennifer Chase did it too. I, I and they all sent them in for pack, and she was making a couple of changes. I didn't get. I would have showed you Jennifer's, but she hadn't got her lines on yet. Yeah, okay, so who else did one? And here is uh, Miss Linda, Linda B. Linda B. Yes, and, and this was a, from a sixteen by twenty one of our tutorials it's called Garden Swans, and I like it. She put in some different swans. I like her fluffy, pretty swans, and she sent that in for personal art coaching. Made a few changes, and, and I think that the whole painting is just stunning. Yeah, that is absolutely just gorgeous. absolutely stunning. And from Miss Ann, we have got uh, Australia, and and W and W. And that is the barn with the tractor, with the truck, and the fly. Yeah, the, yeah, that's another one of tutorials, and it's got the old truck and the barns and everything. She said she um, grew up on a farm, knew a lot about this stuff, and I love how she did the barns and the windmill. And again, she sent it in for personal art coaching, made a few changes, sent it back to me. Um, and I got to say, I think it's fabulous. All of you guys have sent me some fabulous stuff. Sometimes you don't give me permission to show it, or. You know, so I can't, um, and you know, your privacy is respected. But, and we have limited time on the show. But again, if you, um, congratulations to everybody. And of course, we brag about you on Facebook. And uh, be sure to make comments when your friends are posting um, stuff uh, on Facebook. Uh, take a moment and comment. If you like comments on your paintings when somebody, when, when you've posted them and someone says something, Take a moment and say nice job for somebody else. If you can do that, that's a lovely thing to do. Even if you're not posting of your own work, you make somebody's day by doing that. And sometimes that's the only word they'll hear from anybody is yours. Yes? Yes, so, yes. So if you enjoyed our Rose by Martin Head, check out our Academy lessons. We've got a lot. I was I was going to show you that we kind of are out of time to show you all the Martin Head ones. I guess I could show you real fast. Yeah, but, we're still here. Nobody's left us. Um, well, my have. favorite, back it up. My favorite Martin Head uh, tutorial is this one, with the this the, oh, the yes, vase. Yeah, salamander vase. This is called salamander vase. I love it. This I don't know where he. Got, look at that. Look at this vase and the water. That's one of my favorite tutorials, and it was originally a very long skinny painting. And we encourage you if you're at the level to even make it bigger. I made it kind of something we could film. And again, this is another one of his um, Martin Head. Um, 
It has a particular style. And of course, we have two of his magnolias too. We have one some, uh, some with a red background and then a blue velvet. So those are just the tutorials in the Academy. So if you like this kind of thing, try some of the others, you know? And on you that, we'll go. On that, we'll go. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining us. All Bye. right, everyone. We'll see you next time.